Philippines beaches are among some of the most beautiful in the world, yet not all of them get the attention they deserve. The Philippines seems to have it all. The country offers such a wide range of attractions and activities that it appeals to beachgoers, cultural enthusiasts, and thrill seekers alike. Welcome to Things to Do channel. Today we're going to list the top 10 beaches in the Philippines. Nakpan Beach Often described as the most beautiful of all Philippines beaches, Nakpan Beach is a 4-kilometer long, powdery white stretch of awesomeness. The title is well deserved, although it faces stiff competition from many of the other Philippines beaches. Nakpan is actually one half of El Nido's twin beaches. The other half, Kalitang, is nothing to write home about and generally missable. Although it's right next to Nakpan, it can be visited at the same time. Nakpan, on the other hand, is a spectacular expanse of sand and coconut trees, making it the ideal vacation destination in the Philippines. If you plan on doing nothing but lazing about on the sand, working on your tan, or swimming in the crystal clear waters. Panglao Island Beaches Panglao Island, in the province of Bohol, is home to several rocky and white sand beaches, although only a few of them are well known. Alona Beach is by far the most popular beach destination, being also one of the most famous of the Philippines beaches. Due to its popularity, it is found to be overcrowded and overpriced, although still beautiful. The Virgin Island Sandbar of Panglao, which can be reached by private boat or joining one of the many shared boat tours offered on the island, is also very appealing. White Beach Boracay White Beach, the main beach in Boracay, is arguably the most famous of the Philippines beaches and is often the major destination for tourists planning a short trip in the country. White Beach is both family-friendly and romantic. It is home to many resorts, restaurants, and bars. Beach water sports are a popular activity in the afternoons. While at night, the bars get buzzing. This beach can get rather crowded during peak season, so it can be difficult to find a quiet spot. Not only do the soft white sands embrace the beautiful blue waters, but the sunsets here are awesome too. Cresta de Gallo, the queen of the Philippine beaches. The cleanest, whitest sand on this little islet is surrounded by turquoise waters reminiscent of the Maldives. The island is home to one fisher family with no running water or electricity. The fact that it is remote and difficult to access makes it all more special. You can get to the island by taking a two-hour boat trip from Sibuyan Island in the province of Romblon. Getting to Sibuyan Island, however, is no easy task. So make sure to plan your trip in advance. The Beaches of El Nido, Palawan Nakpan, which is accessible via land transport, several other beautiful little pristine beaches can be accessed from El Nido town via boat tours, conveniently called Tours A, B, C, and D. Lounging in the beach's cool shallow waters while lapping up the sun is a great way to spend your day. Other beaches such as Talisay Beach and the sandbar on Snake Island are just as scenic and well worth the boat trip. The town of El Nido proper can be accessed directly by bus or van from Puerto Princesa or from other main towns in Palawan. Sabang Beaches Few people stay in the little Palawan village of Sabang since the main attraction here, the Puerto Princesa Underground River, can be accessed via tours from Puerto Princesa without the need for spending time in Sabang. This ensures that Sabang's beaches are mostly devoid of tourists, rubbish, and noise. Because the beaches in Sabang are not as popular as other Philippines beaches, there are no tourist facilities beyond the main beach, so be sure to bring enough food and water to keep you full and hydrated for a while. The ride from Puerto Princesa to Sabang on a local bus takes about two and a half hours. Siargao There's a lot going on in Siargao, mostly famous for being the best surfing spot in all of the Philippines beaches. Located on the eastern side of the Philippines, you can learn to conquer the mighty waves here, or alternatively search for the perfect swell at one of the many surf spots, if you're already a pro surfer. If you need a break from surfing, other activities such as island hopping and visiting the bizarre Mapopongko Rock Pool will keep you entertained. And of course, the beaches around General Luna are pretty good for non-surfers too. Coron Although Coron's main draw is this spectacular Kayangan Lake, a 
And to a lesser extent, Barracuda Lake, the island itself and the smaller islands around it are home to many secluded beaches surrounded by high cliffs, accessible via boat tours. Some of the best resorts in the Philippines are found here as well. Like many other Philippines beaches, the beaches here are picture perfect and contain soft white sand and clear turquoise waters, providing perfect photo opportunities. Be sure to carry a waterproof camera with you on your boat trip. Coming in, this little island may be more famous for the fact that it has more volcanoes per square kilometer than any other island in the world. But its stunning beaches should not be ignored. The White Island Sandbar just off the shores of Gamigin Island is uninhabited and continuously changes its shape because of the tide. It is one of the most beautiful and photographed spots in Gamigin and can be accessed via a 10-minute boat ride. Saud Beach, Pagudpud The town of Pagudpud, located in Ilocos North, right at the tip of Luzon Island, is home to Saud Beach. A breathtaking spot with clear turquoise waters and coconut trees lining the soft pine sand. Lots of accommodation options can be found close to the beach and although it's probably one of the most visited of the North Philippines beaches, it is large enough to contain a good number of sun worshippers without it feeling overcrowded or dirty. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this about your favorite cities around the world. Let us know in the comments which of the places from our list today you would like to visit the most.